and the more and more I watch this prop, the more excited I get for it. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Hello, everybody. This is Spirit of Haunting, and welcome back to another video. And today's video is going to be another prediction video. And unfortunately, today's prediction video, it's not going to be a happy one. I'm sorry to say that. Last night, Spirit Halloween released a new prop on their website, The Boogeyman. This prop quickly spread all over YouTube, but however, at this point, The Boogeyman has been removed from Spirit Halloween's website. It's not there anymore. But that's not what I'm talking about today. Today's prediction isn't about why it was removed. However, it's going to be about the mechanisms of this animatronic. The Boogeyman is thought to be made by Techie Toys based on some evidence found by Halloween Haunter that was found on adap uh, Techie Toys adapters and the fact that he stands on a wooden base similar to many other Techie Toys props. This also debunks the theory that Techie Toys will not be returning the spirit. But there's something I thought of today. Something that could change how we look at this prop until we have more information on it. I'm if you know anything about Techie Toys, it's that their props are notorious for being fragile. For example, the Broken Spine Girl from two years ago was a very popular prop. However, she was reported to break constantly and prematurely. I'm about to play the video of the Boogeyman for you, and I want you to take close note of the head movement. I'll explain why in a minute. Most animatronic parts are small plastic internal gears. If Techie Toys really does also use these plastic gears in their animatronics, particularly this one, which I believe they will, it is not going to last long. Here are some gears I have pulled out from my Jemmy repair items. You see this gear on the far right? This is a motor shaft gear. If you're not familiar with how this works, this slides onto a motor, and this is the main gear that powers everything else. If this gear is spinning so rapidly and having to turn some other gears, such as these big ones over here, and if it is spinning so rapidly to move the head in that motion, and at that speed, this gear is not going to last long. Another possibility is that this the, is that the boogeyman is going to be belt driven, which is the item you see on the far left. However, I doubt this is the case, as the prop is moving so fast that I don't think a belt would be able to give it that much power. Even so, the belt would still wear out over time. So I think that Techie Toys is going to make this a gear-driven prop. And the problem with that is, unless they use some very strong gears, these gears are going to wear out and split, especially this one on the motor shaft. And by split, I mean the gear completely splits in half, and you have to go into the gearbox and repair it. With this, that looks to be very difficult, as Techie Toys usually has the head already mounted on the clothes of their props. That means you would have to somehow, most likely, open the head or get into the neck area to replace the gear. And nobody wants to do that, especially if they have spent $200 on a brand new prop. So my prediction is that Tech Toys is going to make this a gear-powered prop. That's my thoughts. And I don't think it's going to be very durable. So, until we have more information, I would seriously consider avoiding this prop until we know if it is durable or not durable. But hey, that's just a prediction. I want to know your thoughts. Comment below on what you think of this prediction, if you agree, disagree, or if you have any other interesting predictions about the Boogeyman. I'm excited to see more of this prop, and I really want to know if it's going to be durable or if it's going to break super quickly like I think it might. 
Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I can't wait to see more sneak peek videos. See you then.